In this video, we'll talk about mathematical relations, kind of what they are and how to represent them. So, relations, simply put, are just a pairing of values. Now, a lot of times in textbooks, they're just pairing an X and a Y, an input to an output, a domain to a range. Uh, but we see this all the time in the real world. You could be comparing height to shoe size. You could be comparing um, body fat to lifting weight. Um, you could be comparing your 40-yard sprint time to your bench press, uh, so on and so forth. You could compare two values of any kind. Let's talk about representations. So probably the most classic representation is with an ordered pair. So like let's take the, the height and shoe size for example. So let's say I'm six feet tall and my shoe size is 12. Well there's an ordered pair. Or we can flip it around but the idea is you have an X and you have a Y. And in this case, with a, re with a relation, it doesn't so much matter what order in, as long as all of them are consistently the same. So if I did my height first and then my shoe size, the next person I ask, I also have to do their height first and their shoe size second. Okay. Pairing off of the ordered pair, we can do a graph or a scatter plot. So taking your ordered pairs, and you can plot the points using the coordinates. We can sometimes use equations, although it's kind of rare, but sometimes say we have y equals 2x or 3y equals 4x. There's a lot of options of what we can do for equations. And then another one we have is maps or sometimes referred to as a mapping. The idea is you have pools of numbers. So like if I have one, two, three, and this is my input, my x values, and this is my output, these are my y values, and I'm just pairing them. Then I can have maybe one goes to A and B, two goes to A, three goes to C, but also to B. We're using these arrows to kind of make our ordered pairs. So like one of the ordered pairs here would be 1a, so to speak. So there's a few different ways to make representations for them, and it's just kind of a general way that we can look and organize data. And sometimes with a map, sometimes it's organized in what we call a t-chart. So in this case, we could do 1, then a, 1 also again, goes to b, so on and so forth. So this could be just another helpful way to plot points, to kind of organize yourself. All very, very useful ways of looking at things. And sometimes, depending on what you know or where you're at, one particular method of representing a, a relation is going to be easier to do than others. So it's beneficial to be aware of them all.